Welcome to a special edition of 1v1, where I have the unique opportunity to interview the cast of ABC's Blackish ahead of its seventh season that premieres tonight. And so without further ado, let's get this special underway. Enjoy. You're the last one. Complete the mission. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Fishburne? My name is Darian Carter. Nice to meet you. Darian, nice to meet you. So it seems like the pandemic has hit the world in like in di many different ways and fashion. Can you, uh, what song, movie, or even book would you use to describe your life during the pandemic and why? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, I like the question. I want to answer it uh, uh, two ways. Um, Somebody sent me um, a little video that was made by somebody that, that basically, <laughs> basically is a young brother going, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. <laughs> <laughs> I shared that one with a lot of people. And then uh, the other movie that I would share, the movie that I would share is a movie that I did uh, 10 years ago. Um, that I would share with people, which is called Contagion. For those people who think that it's a hoax, for those people who don't think that this is real, Contagion is, is a great way to explain exactly what this virus is, how it behaves, how it affects us, and how we need to behave in order to um, prevent it from spreading too far. Thank you. You're welcome. How you doing, uh, Mr. Anderson? Uh, my question is directed towards you. So at the 2020 Emmys, you said, I'm still rooting for everybody Black because of Black stories and Black performances and Black lives matter. My question to you is, how long do you think it would take for our stories, performances, and lives to be universally accepted as such? Um, great question. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, the, the only thing that I can tell you I know is that we will and we all should continue to tell our stories. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they may not be universally accepted, just like other community stories and, uh, and, and things are not universally accepted, but that doesn't stop them from telling those stories. Uh, we're gonna continue to live in our truth and, th and that's all we can do. Uh, and we accept who we are. We accept what we are uh, all about. And, and those who wanna join in on that can join in and you know they're, they're more than welcome to come to the barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and that's it. You know, we, we, we're not out here fighting this fight to be accepted universally. We're, we're fighting this fight for what we believe in and what we what we feel is fair and and what we should be doing. Um, so that that's that that's my answer to that. You know, I'm, I'm not on my platform, you know, trying to convince somebody some of something different. I'm here to speak my truth, live in my truth, tell my stories. And if you accept it and you want to be a part of that and you want to help uh, 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 be a beacon uh, uh, and a champion of that, I welcome you. You know, that, that's, that, that's as best as I can answer that. Thank you. You got it. What school do you go to, brother? Clark Atlanta University, Clark junior journalism major. Yeah, what, what journal? You said, I'm sorry, I was talking over you. <laughs> junior journalism major. Okay, they, you had to scream, dog. I stopped talking. <laughs> you put the hand up and everything. Yeah, he was like, "I said you to tell you, you said your big ass mouth. Let me say what I gotta say." <laughs> How you doing, Miles? My question is for you. As you said, your debut uh, album, "We the Future," just came out, featuring Wild Child, Dame Dollar, and other musicians. Can you talk to me about the process of making an album and I, like with the idea, like where did the album come from? Um, shout out, first of all, you said watch out first. That's my dad, actually. That's the craziest part. Um, but I mean, uh, like I said earlier, the message within it, I mean, the cover, uh, the, or I mean, the reason I kind of wanted to make it was throughout the cover that I have. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's kind of like a remake of the signing. There's a famous picture of the signing of the constitution. And, um, it's just basically, you know, the constitution, we, the people, and I kind of wanted to get kind of redo that as if, uh, in a, in a different, with a twist, if that makes sense. So, I wanted to put together something where I could speak to the to the to uh, to like to the new generation, if that makes sense. And I wanted to get that message and point across that whatever whatever happens when it comes to politics or just social media or the internet, 
or whatever even happens in this world that we're going to be the ones that are in control. And I want to make sure that we all, you know, are on the same page and, and, um, now we all know what we're doing and doing our research on certain things. So I don't want, and I don't want there to be any gray area with certain things that the old generation left for us that we're not capable of doing. Cause I know that with social media, we should be way more capable of doing what other people used to be able to do. So that's um, one of the biggest messages I wanted to get out with the audience. Got you. Thank you.